Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Don't lack, of, don't lack anything. You remember we, we talked about this last week. What's the role of the shepherd? The shepherd feeds, a shepherd leads, and a shepherd meets needs. That's what the shepherd does. Shepherd doesn't want us to, to lack for anything. Now, I, I want to give you three very important foundational truths this morning. If you get this, it is going to change your outlook on life. It's going to help you. Write these down. First truth is this. God is the source of everything you need. God is the source of everything you need. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Uh, my, my security is in the shepherd. Don't, don't put your security in anything that can be taken from you. Put your security in God. You know what he said? Never, never, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. <laughs> you got that truth now? Okay. Here's another one that's going to change your life. <laughs> the second truth is there is nothing we need that God can't supply. Now, I'm talking about needs, okay? Remember, needs, not greeds. There is nothing that we need that God can't supply. Philippians 4, 19, you see it? Let's all read it out loud together. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now, our needs are all over the map. I mean, I, I don't know how God does it, but he's, he's the good shepherd, and he, he looks after every one of his sheep. He knows just exactly what we need, every one of us. He knows when we need it. He knows when we need protection. Sometimes he knows, he knows when we need encouragement. He knows when we need a little discipline or correction. He knows when we need direction. He knows when we need food. He knows when we need comfort. He knows when we need comfort food. <laughs> He's the shepherd. Nothing we need that he can't supply. Um, third truth. God doesn't want us worrying about anything. He doesn't want us to worry about anything. Because he's the shepherd. That's what his job is for. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Don't worry about anything. I looked up that word anything. Guess what it means? Anything. <laughs> Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. I looked up the word every, everything. Guess what it means? Everything. <laughs> pray about everything. Tell God your needs. And don't forget to thank him for his answers. Folks, if we can grab a hold of those three foundational truths, it'll change our lives. Now, here's how we apply it. Here's the action steps I want us to take this week. Number one, remember, he's the shepherd and we're the sheep. He's the shepherd and we're the sheep. In John chapter 10, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. Aren't you glad he knows you? He knows your name. He knows your address. He knows how much wool you got on your head. <laughs> it's in the Bible. <laughs> I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. we got to remember that. Action step number two. Live one day at a time. Live one day at a time. Jesus said in Mark, or Matthew 6, 34, he said, So don't be anxious about tomorrow. God will take care of your tomorrow too. Live, what? One day at a time. Don't be anxious about tomorrow, Jesus said. Today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. It isn't so bad, is it? <laughs> it's not. Third step. Relax in the shepherd's care. Just relax. 
Just relax in his care. 1 Peter 5, 7. Read it out loud with me. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. 